He's a stellar award-winning singer, best known for his hit single, Worth Waiting For, Worth Fighting For, pardon me. <laughs> and he's continuing his strong run in gospel with a new album, A Great Work. Please welcome down to the circle, Brian Courtney Wilson. Yes! yes. <laughs> Hey, how could I mess that up? That's one of my favorite songs. Right, it's okay. How are you? I'm doing good. Good, 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 good. good. We know that you have a career. You had a career in pharmaceuticals before your singing career. Mm -hmm. um, were you, This was this always you? Did you have your sights on the big record deal? Or how did this happen for you? I, it was kind of a, a tug on me okay. my whole life, you know? Mm -hmm. But when I, when I took that job, I also got real serious about my Christian faith. Mm -hmm. okay. And so I was working at a church there in Houston, uh, volunteering, and I always felt this tug to keep singing. They gave me an opportunity to sing on their first recording. What church? At, uh, it's Windsor Village United Methodist uh -huh. Church. They gave me an opportunity to sing on their first recording. It was called Awesome God. It was like a regional hit. Yes. And that's when I was like, man, I, I want to give this a shot. I think I got this. But, um, it was scary though because I, I had built a life around what we had already been doing. Sure. But I couldn't couldn't shake this feeling that, especially when my kids were born, I wanted to be able to show them me walking out on faith mm -hmm. yes. after what God was calling me to. Yes, and, yes, uh, yes. Well, he's uh, been faithful. you he's being faithful, obviously, and faithfully you met Matthew Knowles, yes. yeah, yeah. who helped your career. Talk about how that happened and how he was able to cultivate uh, the man that you would become uh, a, in artistry. There's another church called St. John's United Methodist Church My that church. was planted by <laughs> work, that was planted by uh, Windsor Village. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, they heard about the music I was creating in Windsor and asked me to come down and start leading worship there. Yes. Matt and Rudy, who's the pastor there, yep. they had been friends for years. Matt heard this song we did called Already Here mm -hmm. and asked me to come be uh, his first male gospel artist. Nice. And that's how I got started. That is beautiful. Yep. Now, your, your vocal style, you could easily do all types of music. Why was gospel calling you? Mm -hmm. You know, I, when I look back on it, it, um, it it's just what I always kind of felt comfortable with. Okay. Right. I was in college and I had a girlfriend. Her name was uh, Mookie. Mookie. Uh, Mookie. And when I say girlfriend, not, not, not my girlfriend, right, right, but she right. she's like she my was friend. Your, right. she, yeah. your friend girl. Mookie, and what's that? Yeah. Her, her, her father had a studio and they was trying to do R&B music and stuff mm -hmm, and he mm -hmm. brought me in. I remember we were taking pictures. I had like cut off shirts and stuff. It just never felt right. <laughs> right. I was doing. right. Right. You know, it wasn't until I got to Houston and I met some people there who, um, were doing gospel music mm -hmm. and including me in it. And I really started feeling a manifestation of mm -hmm. God's presence in my mm -hmm. life. Yeah. And it just felt like the right thing to do. I still didn't know what a career in it was right. though. I just knew that I was made to like help people with yes. that. Yes, yes. Houston would do that to you. It'll make you think twice about your life, huh? <laughs> you feel, Listen, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> <right>. <laughs> Listen, we know that you're a husband, you have two children. Yeah. How has being a family man increased your, or, or enhanced your artistry? My kids taught me about grace, mm -hmm. and they taught me the the way I love them. Taught me about the way God loves me, Man. how He's patient with me, and how uh, He's given me second chances, third chances that I didn't even know about. Yeah. Right. You know, yeah. and so that really that helped me. And then wanting to leave a legacy for them, wanting to plant some seeds that they would benefit from later, has really helped me with my faith. Nice. What's your opinion on uh, the secular sound and gospel music? You know, I don't even think about that. In mm -hmm. fact, when I think about Thomas Dorsey and how he got started, that's what he was trying to do. Mm -hmm. He was just trying to marry those sounds. So uh, when I when I think about this new record even, a great work, I just wanted to do music that felt good to me, that sounded mm -hmm. good, and then marry that with the message of right. Christ and, and redemption. Right. And uh, I think we got it, too. Right. I can't wait till people hear you this look record. excited. You're getting very right. excited about so, it. When people it's more are... about this mug, though. Right. He says he's going to take this mug. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope we have another I think he's actually going to take the mug. That's his mug now. Right. He came on the set with the Somebody mug. Somebody left right. some sunglasses back there too. I'm gonna uh, take uh, uh, anyway, that's no hope. So this new album, when people are listening to it, please tell me, what do you want people to walk away and say, you know what, listening to this, I feel this. Mm -hmm. the, I said the first thing, I want them to feel good. Because mm -hmm. I think when you feel good, you do good. Come on mm -hmm. now. Um, then I want you to it's about confidence, yeah. confidence in the grace that God has shown from the decision he made on the cross to mm -hmm. die for us. Yeah. Um, and that this grace is enough to carry you even when you make mistakes yes, sir. or when people around you are making mistakes, you can give them grace. Mm -hmm. Cause I think God is calling us all to go be great man and do great things. And sometimes you got to encourage your neighbor to do it. Yes. So that, that's what I want them to walk away with. Yes. Like this courage to like, 
say, hey man, that dress is fly, mm -hmm. for real. Thank mm -hmm. you. But you already knew that, right? Right, sure right. Did. Yeah, but now you know for sure. <laughs> right. And you might go somewhere else and talk to somebody else. You're like, man, your dress is fly. Green is your color. Thank right. You. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's the little, little things. Mm -hmm. You can't discount those little opportunities to encourage people yes. right. to go be great. Yes, yes, yes. And one of the songs that I'm sure will encourage people is Heal mm -hmm. on your album. Tell us a little bit about that and the foundation of the lyrics. Um, Philando Castile was murdered on Facebook. We all watched it. Yes, and that yeah. was like one in a list of, of, of uh, atrocities we witnessed uh, against people of color. Yes. And I was watching a friend, he wasn't a friend, he was a comedian that they bring on TV sometimes and they asked him what he thought and usually he had something to say. This time, just tears welled up in his eyes mm. as if to say like, what more can I say right. to express how much pain you have caused with this? Yeah. And I thought that this is a perfect time for the church to step up and say, okay, despite the despair you might feel right now, God is still present. God still has his hand on the situation mm -hmm. and can still manifest his presence in the way we expect healing to manifest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meet one another. Yes. Start really seeing God's presence in each other, yes. regardless of the color of your skin. Absolutely. Yes. Because that's all that happened right there. Somebody just disregarded his skin color. His skin Absolutely. color. That's it. And his humanity. Mm -hmm. And that's it's, it's tragic. But uh, I still think God can, can heal us. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Wow. Your album will heal. It is a great it's work. It's a great work. Great you work. are a great work. It's a great yes. work. Yes. It's a great mug. <laughs> I can't wait to take it. I'm going to write you a mug. Right. Listen, Brian, thank you so much for coming down to the thank circle. Thank you for you having me. You can get Brian's new music, a great work, in stores on and online. Next up, let's check out what you had to say in some tweets and what the people say. Go get this album. He's Go awesome. Go get it. <laughs>